this fandom ain't big enough for the two of us. Hello Internet, welcome to Gay Theory. There's only room for one scientist with Duang memes. Kono Dio Doc. I've been making stand signs for a year now. Should've known you'd show up sooner or later. What is the taste of a liar? I knew this episode was gonna be bad because you had the guy who skips parts writing it. Even Speedwagon is afraid. I bet you didn't even know Speedwagon had a Speedwagon himself. Steamroller. I don't quite care if you like the show or not. Just treat it with the respect it deserves. Other popular people have done it before, so why can't you? Memes, 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 ha ha ha, funny, ooh, ooh. There's two kinds of people in this world. Those with the passion to create meaningful content, and those who expose it to normies only for the memes. But hey, that's just a theory. If this were the Wild West, which it is, the hero would say, it's high noon. Next time, start your theory before the 4 minute 30 second mark. <laughs> Keeping with the part 5 cast for this episode, we'll be talking about the gunslinger of Passione, Guido Mista, and his stand, Fornication Firearms. Being the third gun-based stand in JoJo's, Sex Pistols is honestly cooler than Emperor. I mean, the rule of only one stand per person is broken by the fourth most busted character in the entire series. Poochie's a scrub compared to this guy only having three stands. Mista's got six, and they all have their own personalities and designs. Like, I find it so cool that there's no number four because Mista's paranoid about that number. But being a physicist, I'm constantly trying to determine new ways to explain the wacky and wonderful abilities from Araki's weird mind. So, with Sex Pistols, we have a stand that can redirect a bullet six times before hitting its target, almost like they're passing a soccer ball. My goal today will be to determine how much force is behind one kick from a single number so that we can figure out how powerful a bullet from all six of them would be. So there's a bit of background information we need before we actually start bringing math into this problem. First of all, what kind of revolver does Mista use? Mista's pretty purple powerhouse holds six bullets and has a very short muzzle. The type of gun that accurately resembles it is a 32 Smith & Wesson snub nose. With this, we can find the average muzzle velocity, which is 759 feet per second, or 231 meters per second, for our purposes today. Now we need the mass of the bullets. Our indicator for that would be the scene here, where Mista shows the bullets off, and they have S-P-F-E-D-E-L on them. S-P stands for soft point. Soft point is a type of lead expanding bullet. The soft metal core is surrounded by a strong jacket that's left open with a forward tip. This allows the bullet to expand on contact, which is why the diameter of the bullet holes in Mista's targets are actually larger than the diameter of the bullets themselves. Even though this is a small addition by David Productions, I think it's a really, really good one. The average mass of an SP32 round is about 88 grain, which converts to 0.0057 kilograms. Conservation of momentum is the best way to solve this problem. And for this situation, I'm going to consider air friction to be negligible because it basically is. So here on Stand Science, we've used momentum a few times, but as a reminder, it's mass times velocity. So the momentum of a bullet traveling in a straight line would be 0.0057 kilograms grams times 231 meters per second, which is 1.3167 kilograms meters per second. If we assume that a single number's maximum kick strength is enough to completely reverse the direction of the bullet, the change in momentum would just be double our previous answer. That means the total change in linear momentum would be 2.6334 kilograms meters per second. But have you noticed that I've been saying things like traveling straight and linear? That's because as a bullet moves, it doesn't only move in the forward direction, but it's also spinning right around baby, right around. <laughs> Nani
Angular velocity and angular momentum are important for us to consider when tackling this problem. Don't feel overwhelmed because I'm going to introduce three Greek letters that are relevant to these equations. Omega, tau, and alpha. It's because in physics we constantly run out of letters to represent different quantities. So you know, let's just steal them from the Greek alphabet. Angular velocity, or frequency, omega is defined as the number of cycles per second, and can be determined by dividing the velocity of an object by its radius. So if we take a 0 0.32 round have a radius of 0 0.008 meters, then the angular velocity would be 28,875 radians per second. Angular momentum is what makes the world go round. Like, actually though, why the world keeps spinning the way it does. Unlike linear momentum, it can be defined as the moment of inertia times an angular velocity. Inertia is the tendency to stay the same, or not move at all. So that means the moment of inertia would be the tendency to resist angular acceleration, alpha. I'm going to approximate the moment of inertia for a bullet as a cylinder, which is one half mr squared. When comparing linear motion to rotational motion in physics, there are many analogs. Mass is equivalent to the moment of inertia. Newton's second law is equivalent to torque, and as demonstrated earlier, momentum and angular momentum are related in the same way. There's a whole list of them I could do, but let's only use what's necessary for solving this problem. We know the mass, radius, and angular velocity, so the moment of inertia would be 1.824 times 10 to the negative 7 kilograms meters squared. So now we can put that back into the angular momentum formula to get 0.005267 kilograms meters squared per second. Like with linear momentum, the total change in angular momentum would just be double that previous answer, which is 0.010534 kilograms meters squared per second. But before we can get into forces, we need to determine the amount of time the bullet travels in the air. Mista's range is a B by stand stats, but you know, it's also the range of a bullet. From what I've observed in Golden Wind so far, the average distance that Mista engages in for most of his fights is about 10 meters. Since velocity is distance over time, the time the bullet travels would be 0.04329 seconds. This problem is so much more straightforward than doing something like the Emerald Splash because I didn't have to create an Excel spreadsheet to solve it. Allow me, mister, oh, mister, you So finally we're at forces. We have to worry about two forces to get our total force, the normal force and the tangential force. The normal force is the change in momentum divided by the change in time. That's super easy. Just take our 2.6334 and divide by 0.04329, which is 60.8315 newtons. Alright, next is tangential force, which is a component of torque tau. Torque is defined as the radius across the tangential force, so a force that's perpendicular to the radius of an object which can be rewritten as the change in angular momentum divided by the radius times the change in time. This means the tangential force is 30.4158 newtons. We can't just add these up to get our total force. Since we're dealing with angles and stuff, the total force squared is equal to the normal force squared plus the tangential force squared. So let's just rearrange this equation really fast. Now we get a total force of 68.0117 newtons. That's the amount of force behind a single number's kick. So let's say all six bullets kick at the same time, like in Mista's fight with Solid. The total force would be 408.07 newtons, which is easily enough to crack a bullet in half. That's kind of crazy how that scene is actually accurate. Mista just basically put up a sale of broken arts and crafts here. Get it? It's easy enough to go straight through bone if directed that way, and is far more powerful than both the Emperor and Rat combined. This is the usual from Araki. I feel like he's actually a super genius when it comes to understanding classical physics and is better than most undergraduate engineering students. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Soldier! This is the one who died! This is the one who died! This is the one who died! Thank you so much for watching. Hey, it looks like I made a science video about JoJo's over 10 minutes that involves more than 4 minutes of actual science. <laughs> so, I guess that's pretty cool. It makes you wonder. But anyways, I just wanted to thank everyone for getting us this far. I've been doing Stan Science for a year now, and I seriously can't wait to make more. Next time we'll be heading to my favorite part in the entire series, 
talk about the infinite rotation. Have a beautiful doing, and I'll see you all next time.